I made a very exciting purchase a few weeks ago. I found out that my cousins were in the US and the minute I saw them Snapchatting from New York, I was like, you need to go to Sephora right now and pick me up the Tarte Tartlet palette along with a few other bits, you know how it is. But I have had my eye on this palette for the longest time and as you may know, Tarte's not really readily available in the UK and I'm not a big fan of online shopping so I just had to get somebody to pick this up for me or make a trip myself but this was the first option that was available so that's what I went with. Look at how beautiful all of the colours in this are. It's an all matte palette which is quite rare. I don't think I own any palette that's all matte so I was quite excited by this and it's basically like all of my favourite colours in one palette. So this video is more like a first impressions and just an eye makeup tutorial. I have done my base, I have my foundation, concealer, bronzer, lipstick and eyebrows on and if you want to know or any of these products are, I'll leave them linked in the description box below. And I'm going to do a natural makeup tutorial with this. So I'm starting out using my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This is just used as an eyeshadow base and a primer. I'm just taking a flat stiff brush and I'm just going to apply it all the way over the lid and up to the brow bone. You can apply this with your finger, some people do like to do that. Um, I just like to blend it out with my finger. So I think I'm going to start with the lighter shades first, maybe Super Mum and Free Spirit. I'll see how I get on with one and then I might mix two together. So I've just taken Super Mum and I've just taken it all over the lid with the MAC 217. Next I'm taking Wanderer. I've gone quite high up into the crease because I'm going to be layering my products. So the base of the crease is Wanderer and then I think I might go into, oh I don't know, <laughs> I'm going to go into Dreamer because that's another slightly warmer matte brown. I'm going to try out my new uh, Real Techniques Bold Metals crease brush. I've not used this brush yet either. Whoa, that's really pigmented. So these shadows are very, very pigmented, so I, I use a light hand if you want a natural look. This brush doesn't blend very well. So I'm going to go back in with my slightly tapered blending brush. This is from Hair and Makeup Addiction, and it's called the Crease Blender. I'm going to go in with Multitasker, which is this shade just here. I'm literally just going underneath those shadows, forming almost a cut crease. Again, back to my clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend that out in sweeping motions. I'm also taking that same brush and going back into Multitasker and I'm going to do my outer corners. With the same brush, just on the clean side, I'm going back into Wanderer, just to put in between the two colours, so that we create a little bit of a transition. Now, back to the other side again, I'm going to go into Fashionista, just with the point though. Wow. As you can see, that's super pigmented, so I'm going to go back over with the Multitasker, which is the darker brown, but I'm using the other brush that I used last time, just taking the tiniest amount and blending that black out. So now I'm going back in with 217, I'm going to go back into Supermum, just to define the lid a bit more. I'm also taking the same shade on the tip of the brush, 
just to do my brow bone, just to lift it a little bit. And there we go, I'm just going to go and put on my eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. This is the finished look. I've just added some gel eyeliner, some mascara and false lashes. Now, you can leave it at this. You don't have to put anything on the waterline if you want to keep it super natural. But this is me and I feel like I'm just missing a little something. Even though I do have mascara on my bottom lashes, I just feel like I need a tiny bit of colour under there just to tie it all together. So I'm going back into my Tartlet palette. I'm going to take a bit of Dreamer, I'm using this flat shadow brush, this is again from Sephora. So I instantly feel that just by adding a little bit of a warm brown shadow underneath my lower lash line on this eye, looks instantly better than this one. That's just me, it's all personal preference, at the end of the day it's only makeup and you can take it off. So because I've gone with a matte eye, for the first time in ages I've gone with a glossy lip. It's not actually gloss, my lipstick is the Marc Jacobs Roll the Dice and it's this gorgeous pink shade and I've paired it with this Kiko Ace of Diamond Lip Pencil in number 34. This is just such a beautiful shade and if you have watched any of my videos before you'll know that I pretty much only wear matte lipstick but this is just stunning. So because of that, I feel like I should add a bit of highlight because everything's quite matte on the eye area, including the eyeliner, which is gel. I'm just going to use my crown blush palette and I'm going to go in with this golden and bronzy shade just to warm up my face a little bit. These are quite pigmented. So this is the finished look and I have to say that I'm so impressed with the Tartlet palette even though matte shadows are notoriously hard to blend. These are quite easy, now I don't know if that's just because of the shadows themselves, I suspect that it is. It could also be that I use the matte paint pot underneath as a base and that just really helps the colours to pop. They do kick up a little bit of powder when I put my brush in to use them but they blend like a dream, they look amazing, I'm so so impressed. They're super pigmented, really buttery and just really, really good quality eyeshadows. So if you can get your hands on one of these, I would highly recommend it. I'm in love with it. It's such an amazing palette and it's so different and it's just so nice to have an all matte shade palette because I feel like I could wear this during the day, on the evening out. The one thing that I would say is if you are in a hurry and you're using this palette, just be warned you may need an extra few minutes just to blend it out. Matte eyeshadow just require an extra few seconds of blending just to get them just right. You don't want to be left with any harsh lines in the crease or anything like that. But aside from that, it's a gorgeous palette and it's so lovely to have a palette that's just all matte and all of my perfect shades. So I really hope that you enjoyed this different style of tutorial from me. I know that I normally do quite a full-on glam look, but I had a lot of fun doing this for you. So please leave me a comment below, let me know what you think. I would love to see any looks that you create with this, so please send me a tweet, hashtag me on Instagram, or just anything. You can even Snapchat me, I think I'm on every single social network out there. But the possibilities are endless, so I think this will be perfect for autumn because there's a lot of warm colours in here a lot of browns and plums and I just love that so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial please like subscribe and all that jazz and I'll see you next time bye